Hello everyone, welcome back. I have another pin for you. This is the Monte Grappa Eye of Sauron, Middle Earth. This is a limited edition. Uh, 100, I'm sorry, not 100, 300 pins. And this is number 101. I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I have the, the, the books and all of the movies. I do tend to fall asleep on the movies, but I do love them. This is a medium stainless steel nib. Uh, I bought this for $428 from Trufe. I had a coupon. It's normally $476. If you see there, there's a map of Middle Earth. There's the eye there. Yes, it says Made in Italy, Monte Grappa. And there's the Infineal. There's some more artwork. And you see there it says Lord of the Rings. And that's 101 of 300. And the neat thing is that this does come off, the ring does come off. You actually have to get a grip on this part here. And it's not easy. I have to get the right grip and twist it all. So it doesn't come off via the ring. It comes off by this, this little part here. So, so that comes off and you have the ring. My hands are too big to fit the ring on. But there's nothing in there. It's a little empty piece. But there's the ring, the regular. The regular ring. The script. Very neat pen. Um, being such a Lord of the Rings fan. I just like, oh, I have to have that. So luckily Trufe had them in stock. And so I got to fiddle with this to get it back on. And you have to get it just right to line up with the clip. I like it to be lined up, but I won't I won't bother with that right now. But there's a clip. So it's a springy clip. Maybe a little bit too springy, but it is springy compared to the Hongdian 100. It's like night and day as far as the, the springiness of the clip. So this is a, a resin with a gunmetal ruthenium plated trim. So this is ruthenium plated. Um, it's laser etchings, as I said, in Middle Earth and some of the other drawings. Let me see there. It's Monte Grappa. And you have the, the Siren Eye. And this is what they call a Luminova enamel. I'm not sure what Luminova is. And again, it's limited to 300. And it's a stainless steel nib. And this is a medium stainless steel Monte Grappa nib. The section for me is a, a little slippery. Um, it does taper down quite a bit, so that doesn't help me. But um, it's still still comfortable. It's a little thin um, compared to again the um, Hongdian 100. It's a little thicker and um, just had a little tiny bit more grip than this one does. But it's still very comfortable to write with. It's kind of a short pen. Um, you can post it. It, it back weights it quite a bit. It, it posts. It, it posts pretty nicely. I just. I don't want to scratch the artwork, so, I, you know, I don't. I don't post it. The section steps up. The, the threads are comfortable. There are no issues with the threads. It's a converter. So the Monte Grappa converter there. No nonsense converter. And some metal threads there. Uh, inside the cap, let's see, 
nothing much inside the cap there. Nice ruthenium trim here and on the, the clip as well as the section and the, the back finial and also the top finial. Nice ruthenium trim. So as far as the box, it comes in a very nice box. See, it's Lord of the Rings, Monte Grappa, and New Line Cinema has, they have to have their, their say. Um, oh. and here is medium, 101 out of 300. So I'm going to open this up. And this is the inner box. Very artistic again, New Line Cinema. Some maps. And it came with two cartridges. The pen was inside of this. And certificate of authenticity. Signed by the president, chairman, I guess of Monte Grappa, not sure. And a nice booklet with some instructions in different languages. So yeah, very nice. Some people. That's it. As far as the materials, so I'll just do a writing sample. Before I have the writing sample, I always forget to do my swaps at the end, so I'm going to do it while I'm remembering. I like to swap to see if there's any leaking. And there's, as expected, there's, there's none. So let's start with the writing sample. So the pen is the Monte. It's a fairly long name, Monte Grappa. I of Siron, Middle Earth. And the nib is a medium stainless steel. The ink is pilot Hiroshizuku. And this is Fuyu. Seal gun. Seal gun, which is cool gray, which is also much easier to say. And again, this was four hundred twenty-eight dollars, um, four hundred seventy-eight dollars without coupon. So the, this palette, Roshizuko Fuyu Seal Gun, is a, it's a fairly dry ink, I would say, for Roshizuku. Um, and there's no flex to speak of with this nib. You wouldn't expect it to be. As you see, there is a... Hey, it goes from light gray to medium gray to a light black. Fairly um, interesting ink. It reminds me of um, the Diamond Earl Grey, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Now reverse. That's okay in reverse. This is a, the best ink for reverse. But um, this is a, a typical, nice, writing Monte Grappa nib. Monte Grappa nibs are 
are some of my favorites and they're fairly consistent. Um, so get into some of the pros and cons. Um, pros, it's lighter, lighter than it looks, just like the, um, the Hong Dian 100, which I just reviewed. And speaking of lighter than it looks, let's sway it. So fully inked and capped, it is 42.7. And uncapped, which is typically the way I write with it, it is, it wants to roll. It doesn't want to stay put. It's about 23 some, 23.0. Just not, it's not bad. Um, it does post securely. Although I would rather not post it. It's a nice firm, firm nib. If you like firm nibs, it's a reliable writer. I haven't had any issues. I've had this for um, close to a month, a little less than a month. I think it's beautiful. You know, it has a it has a story to it. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, so it's a it's a good gift um, for a Lord of the Rings fan. I think it's unique. It has a unique look look to it. it has a unique story to it. Uh, you know, with the, the ring coming off there. So it's definitely good for a Lord of the Ring geek. Our cons, um, it's it's pricey. Um, it's a, for me it's a the grip is just a little slip. Just a tad bit. A little slippy, um, but that again, that just may be, that just may be me. It's, it's not bad um, if you just really get a good grip on it. I, I really don't have um, much negatives to say about it because in Monte Grappers, like I said, are, are some of my favorite pens. Uh, the Monte Grappa Mia is my favorite pen so it's rare that i have anything negative to say about um monte Grappas. at least the ones i have so far they're some of my favorites and um you know i highly recommend them um, yeah it is a little pricey but um, i just think it's a, a unique piece um, so that's a um monte Grappa. Eye of Sauron, Middle Earth, or The Rings Limited Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video and got a feel for what this pen offers. So as always, uh, thank you all for watching and for taking the time to share my love of pens with me. And I will catch you later. Take care.